Hello guys and welcome to the August edition of That Model Man here on James Bonnet Photography and Models. So hello once again to the August edition of That Model Man. We're in this month's episode, or this part one of the episode. I'm not sure if there'll be one or two parts this month. All depends what happens uh, over this weekend for we'll some at the Lincolnshire show. Uh, Steam rally. I'll show you a leaflet for that in a minute. Um, we'll start. I'm going to start off by showing you this shelf here, which I've had a little bit of a move round. Move the cushion up onto the shelf up here. It was over here. It's because the shelf has bowed a little bit down. I don't know if that's because it's an old shelf or whatever. So for safety reasons, I've done that. So then if it moves anymore, it's actually been propped up on the models just here. And that off, it seems to have done the trick. Anyway, it's not gone down any further. It could also be down to that there's quite a bit of weight on the shelf itself. So other now this time new items here in Stobart room now I'm just going to cut into this clip here that shows you some old uh, Eddie Stobart driver um, uniform items which I've uh, acquired from an old driver who used to work at the Stamford depot near um, Grantham uh, many years ago back when it was Edward Stobart and he said he was quite fond of that chap. I said, yeah, I was as well. Uh, yeah, and I bought quite a few items off him of old driver uniform. Couldn't buy them all because I didn't have enough money on me. But, yes, yeah, very nice bits of uniform to let to own. I'll cut into that now. Then we've got a new mug here, the Rainbow Valentina mug. So yes, I've started collecting mugs, if you haven't guessed already, because this is another mug. And if I quickly go up here, there's the new Stobart Rail mug. That's quite a nice mug as well. Now, whilst I was there at the depot tour, which I hope you've enjoyed the video so far, I picked up this little leaflet. It's an Eddie Stobart Santa Fun Run. Uh, the 5k run, jog or walk on Sunday 3rd of December this year at the Daventry Country Park start time 10am it's £10 for adults, £5 for children uh, includes free Santa suit and uh, all money goes to Wish Upon a Star not quite sure how you sign up for that though didn't actually give anything on that but I thought it was worth picking up so I can share with you guys so, what else have we got here in my little room? Well, we've had this new thing come, another mug. This time it's for Maritime. And we've got a Maritime pen. And I've got a selection of Maritime pin badges. We won't get them out of there because they're nicely organised. Uh, this I got with the Depot Tour. As... I did with a, another Edward Stobart story book. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, whether it's another competition here on the channel or the missus will be having it. I not, don't know yet. So, we've had some uh, new videos go up on the channel as well. We've got uh, recent activity. We've had Eddie Stobart, Chelsea Lee, Maritime, KU15, FPY, and uh, Subcontractor as well. So, also here in the loft now we've got some nice old pin badges. This one says on the back, Doncaster 1997. We've got this nice Scania one. We've also got these old ones, very old ones. I presume these were staff ones. 
because that one there is actually a tie holder so I presume that was what that was we've got the unofficial 2018 Stobart Kinder probably the only one I'll ever buy I just bought it because it looked quite nice good selection of photos none of them are their own photos though they all borrowed the ones from the Stobart Club but it's still a nice investment We've also got Stobart uniform trousers, a Stobart shirt, one of the new ones because I've got one of the old ones as well, which you've seen in the picture. I've got a Stobart clipboard and a Stobart document holder. So my uh, driver stuff is getting there. I'm looking at trying to get, if I can, I shouldn't really get any Stobart um, insurance pack is it or whatever it's called that sits in the wagons anyway yeah I'm watching a couple of them on eBay uh, just to top up the collection because they're not really getting much more the world of Stobart collection by Atlas editions has finished finito done uh, half the ones that they said they were going to do they're now not doing because it's been about two and a half months now since anything new came out it's only the same old same old so it's as a lot of us are saying it's obviously finished plus I did see the other day the advert for it they're trying to start again with it and also advert for the lorry say, uh, yeah, lorry collection also why bother on that one although there is one new truck for that one and that is Twiggy the first lorry they ever had with an incorrect curtains our trailer because of course it had a flatbed but I'd still quite like to have it it's very rare there's only about I don't know how many there's actually made of that I don't know who makes it either but it's um, very rare to get hold of that one because um, not many people actually have the Atlas series anymore because they're rip off merchants so what is in the brown box let me pop the camera down and I'll get it out for you. It is another Stobart clock. Professional clock, uh, one from the Edward years again, uh, facing the right with the number plate on time. And it's a Scania 124L quite an old one well it's from from last sort of years that he was there because it's when they changed to saying international logistics but yes very nice <laughs> New items that I'm going to be doing reviews of soon is the Oxidarkas Maritime Transport Truck with a container and very nice Aston Martin Vantage. Very nice indeed. We've also got four bus repaints coming up for my model bus collection, which I will then do a new update video on. And this is where I'm going on the 19th of August. It's the Lincoln Steam and Vintage Rally at the County Showground A15 near Lincoln. Let me put this down better. So it picks it up. It's £10 on the gate to get in. And it's all for charity. That's where to find it, it's just up the A46 from Newark. You can camp there, but the camping has closed. And there's some scenes from the 2016 one. Under 16s are free. It seems like a very good event to go to, a bit like Remston, and there's a fully licensed bar.
an old time fair collection of in there's their model and craft exhibition which is in steam as well well sad that's also the 32nd annual show that is uh, yeah 32 years that's been going you might notice there's some new some little cars are dotted around here now uh, these are what are left from my little box there's some in the window there as well they're just the little bits and bobs that I quite liked from the big layout which I've kept hold of because in here it is all changed still need a back scene on this but this is done Tiffany's because it's got the road markings now and giveaways bus depot has been finished for ages as you know just had it cut and chopped and whatever you just say it was fit in the cupboard and now da, 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 the eddie depot sorry if this is a little dark i am working on getting some little lights or something to sort this out but yes we are nearly there there's just a little patch here and bits and bobs to stick down but the stobart yard is finally somewhere not like it was before now i've gone for it being a very small building instead of using both and it's also um, low relief you go that way so it's go round and you come back out rather than before just because I'm limited for space so that's how I've had to do it still trying to make it slightly realistic and then you've got your port cabin office there but of course there is offices in there as well it's very good I like it it's working very well I use leftovers and recycled bits from the old layout to make this so what I was going to get very quick the other thing I've actually bought is Metcalf tarmac sheets and some glue and of course that back scene which is uh, a replacement to the one that was actually for beyond my brewery depot uh, model thing I had before because that one's gone as well but yeah this is the same back scene I had on that now if I've got any more of the concrete bit I might put the concrete above Tiffany's but I am planning Tiffany's to be in the middle of nowhere Anyway, that, that's a uh, nice bit of modelling done here on That Model Man. <laughs> it's very rare that modelling actually gets done here on That Model Man, as you know. But it does. The shop link bus is also going to get repainted. So that can go over there with my repaint. So that's that one going to be ticked off and then it's just show bus at my planned events and depot visits and stuff like that that's left spotting trips and that they're all extras I do plan to do a bit more spotting soon Oh, thank you very much for watching that model man August 2017 and I'll see you next time here on the channel with another episode of that model man the layout should be finished or at least the depot fully finished and I'll see you next time of course and I'll keep you posted on Instagram and Facebook of any extras and things that change so thank you very much for watching see you next time please like subscribe etc to the channel. I'll see you soon.
Bye, guys.